and welcome or welcome back to episode 8 of my Let's Play series on Lilac Woods. If you haven't been keeping up with the series, Lilac Woods is a spring core slash cottage core inspired island and we are probably about two thirds of the way through the island at this point and honestly I'm starting to feel a bit nervous that I've miscalculated and we really don't have a ton of space left but we have several villager houses and both of the shops. So today we are going to be working on placing Nook's Cranny. I was super inspired by a recent island tour that I did. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in a card up above. But on that island, she has a section where there's a circular path with a destination signpost in the middle, and it is absolutely stunning, and I really wanted to incorporate that. While I was time traveling, I realized that we actually have an empty plot, and I really didn't want to go villager hunting, so we're just going to let the plot autofill, and I'll show you guys who we end up getting. Goldie's house ended up being right in the middle of the area here, and so we just kind of had to move her. I think I may permanently leave her house here in the back of the island and maybe we'll do that. But then Gonzo moved on and I'm so excited. I absolutely love him. Let me know in the comments if you guys think we should keep Gonzo or do you think I should let him move away and maybe autofill with a different villager for this island? I don't know. There's just something about him that's so cute and I feel like his house exterior fits pretty well with this theme. So at this point, I'm kind of thinking to keep him, but I would be willing to get rid of him if you guys disagree so let me know what you think but then I started working on this area behind Nook's Cranny. I just wanted to build up some cliff here and I knew that I wanted there to be an incline going up to just a separate area. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, um, but I think the cliffs make such a nice background behind like big buildings and houses. I tend to do that a lot when I'm decorating. I don't know, once we finish this island, I do feel like it's time for me to figure out a theme that is just very outside of my comfort zone because I do feel like I've fallen into a little knack with decorating and I feel like starting off with a theme that's very foreign to me would probably help me to get out of that little rut. I am really enjoying it though, so I'm definitely not complaining. And then I'm over here by this little lake just building an island to put a, a tree on. I just think it makes it look more full and natural and you know, I don't know. I just think it's cute. And then I threw down a water custom code and of course some decoy ducks. They're one of my favorite items in the game. And then I tried to decide if I wanted that little hop over there and then I decided against it. I kind of think the lake on its own looks pretty cool. And then I wanted to shape this area so that the cliff side or cliff side so that the water side just looks a little bit more natural and less straight. I was kind of dreading decorating that area to be honest with you because it just felt so awkward with the big cliff in the front it kind of like obstructs the view um, but i'm working on the main area now just throwing down a few items that i had in mind um, spoiler alert i do end up removing the simple well um, because i just kind of felt like it didn't look right I feel like there's something about this like center area that I just can't seem to figure out. So if you guys have any suggestions for items that you feel like would look good there, I tried like the street lamp, the destination signpost, like none of them just looked quite right because they blocked the view of Nook's Cranny too much. And I don't know, I am so open to your guys' suggestions though, because it needs something. I don't know what that something is though. So working on this area next to Nook's Cranny, because my nooks isn't upgraded, I really wanted to do like a farm to table stand kind of vibe out in front, just because I feel like it suits the non-upgraded nooks cranny super well. And then honestly, I'm just filling in this area with like my typical flowers, bushes, wheat field. And I'm really trying not to overdo the decor. One of the things that I tend to love the most when I visit other people's islands is when their island is not like overly full and there's a lot of like open space to run around. And then I don't do that on my own islands at all. Like I try to fill in every single tile. So I'm really trying my hardest to stop doing that and give myself permission to just like leave areas empty. Um, but I absolutely love this random potato sitting on top of the boxes of potatoes potatoes. I don't know why I think it's so funny looking. I just love that we got vegetables in this game. I think it's so fun. I don't really cook that much though. Let me know. Are you guys like, are you fully cooking? Are you chefs in the game? I don't think I've ever actually made anything. I've always just like spawned in the certain like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of it. I just spawn in the food, you know, and I never actually make it. 
Maybe I should be doing that, but let me know in the comments below. Are you guys like full chefs in this game or are you like me and you're just getting the items from Treasure Islands and not actually doing it yourself? Um, so then I'm gonna start working on the area off to the right and I was thinking about using a stall because I honestly haven't used them very much. Since we got the storefront, that's kind of my preferred stall-like item and I've stopped using certain items in the game and I'm really trying to kind of like diversify my decorating a little bit there was something about this area though that just like wasn't jiving so i took a break we had a campsite villager and it is pecan i absolutely love her and i honestly sat here and chatted with her for a second and considered inviting her on the island and then i kind of decided against it because i was thinking of other villagers that i thought might be cuter for this and then i'm kind of cheating here and not fully decorating this little tree foresty area i'm just gonna throw a ton of flowers back there and just just call it a day honestly i wanted it to be a really simple like picnic picnic area i almost said picnic blanket area i guess that's what it is um but yeah so you can see i've filled in a few things here i did kind of skip over just a tiny little bit but here i am trying out the destination signpost and it just doesn't look right it completely blocks the building and i don't know would you guys have left it i just think it looks kind of funky but then i remembered that we have the plain party lights in this game and they're one of my favorite items i always forget about them and they look so cute just like framing the entrance in the end i ended up just going with a simple green leaf pile and i think it looks pretty cute and it doesn't distract from the overall build and i still think that like circular path there ends up looking really cool so I don't know. I don't totally hate it. I don't totally love it either. I would love to hear your suggestions because I feel like I need some help with this area of the island. I do want to mention though that my bushes are blooming in this video and I am going to eventually time travel to a time in the year where none of my bushes are blooming. So I guess keep that in mind while you're watching. I was just a little too lazy to time travel for this video. But then I'm setting up a little painting area here, which I think is so cute. And I absolutely hate when I accidentally erase my custom designs. It's one of my biggest pet peeves in this game. And I sincerely wish that that wasn't even possible because it makes me so upset. But here we are at the end of the build. I do really like how it turned out. I feel like this was just kind of a trust the process kind of build, but I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it in the comments. But if you did enjoy this video and you watched it to the end, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. But thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you very soon in the next video. Bye.